Hi, greetings to all of you from all of us at Forum for IT Employees on this important day of International Workers' Day. How does the significance of the first of may become relevant to us, the employees of the modern technology sector? Uh, remember the number eight that we enter in our timesheets. So what does that signify? So that signifies a eight hour workday. So how did this eight hour workday come into existence? It came as a result of a long struggle by hundreds and thousands of people. And that was for over a long period of time. And that is how this whole concept of eight hours workday became a legal practice. Prior to that, the usual workday, it had been used to be 10, 12, 14, etc. So only after the long struggle that was undertaken, this famous slogan came into existence that was eight hours work, eight hours rest and eight hours recreation. When we talk about the significance of the 1st of May, we would be able to better understand it when we think about the problems that we, the employees of the uh, modern technology sector, we had been facing uh, day in and day out. So some of the problems uh, worth mentioning are the uh, appraisal system. The appraisal system it is usually a biased and uh, an unscientific method that has been employed. But usually the employers, they attributed to be a, a system that has been used to evaluate a, an employee's performance. So apart from this, the usual problems which we face are the uh, number of hours of work at the workplace, even though officially it is eight, uh, the actual hours, it ranges, it goes beyond 10, 12, 14, etc. And sometimes it goes on like a marathon. So apart from this, the most important problem which the uh, entire IT sector uh, has been subjected to is this problem of forced job termination. This forced job termination is something which the employers uh, usually refer as layoffs or even some employers they term this as involuntary attrition or they call it as workforce optimization and they give all this uh, all this irrelevant fancy terminologies. These are some of the problems which we could uh, think about. So uh, the reason we had been uh, subjected to these kind of problems is that uh, traditionally we have been deprived of the labor rights. That is the very rights which the 1st of May upholds. So when we talk about labor rights, it is also very important that we remember Dr. Ambedkar who had been a pioneer of the labor rights in India. So say for example, the Industrial uh, Disputes Act, Industrial Disputes Act 1947, it prevents the employer from indulging in any kind of forceful job terminations. And also it prevents the employer from making an employee work for longer hours of time and especially without overtime wages. So these are some of the rights which, which have been bestowed to us. Uh, I mean, the employees had been not aware of these rights for a longer period of time. And this is not just a coincidence. So post globalization era, uh, this business, this business model, it has been cunningly developed such that the employees are not aware of their rights and they don't exercise them as well. So how do we exercise these rights now that we are aware of them? How do we exercise them? Can an individual just go to the judicial system, knock their doors and have their, uh, have their right exercise? No, that may happen in a movie, but not in real life. In real life, we would be able to exercise our labor rights only via collective bargaining. So what does this collective bargaining mean? Problem which an individual experiences at a workplace is not a problem experienced by him or her alone. It's a problem that has been experienced by all the employees at a workplace. I mean, all the problems which we had been mentioning, the harassment problems, the uh, long working hours problem, the leaves problem, the forged resignations. It has been a common problem for all the employees. So they would be able to exercise they're right. They would be able to find a solution to all these problems only when they collectively question it. Only then they would be able to find a solution to it. And that is what we mean by collective bargaining. And so this collective bargaining, we would be able to be achieve, we would be able to achieve it only by belonging to a trade union. So Article 19 of the Indian Constitution gives the right of every uh, to every employee 
to be a part of a trade union. On this 1st of May, let us uphold the spirit of this great day by collectively questioning the unfair labor practices at our workplace and also ensuring that our workplace becomes a place which is free of any kind of oppression and also that is a that becomes a workplace which is full of peace and harmony thank you